so I just finished watching a bunch of comedy YouTube videos and now it's like I want to make a video YouTube video I I don't know what is this so I'm doing it right now and I'm making so many shots because in the video they did this and please try to cooperate with me because I am trying to make a video hello everyone today Today we're doing a video, of course we are, and I have chocolate in my presence, but I also have one more thing in my presence, which is... A piece of paper. So in this paper, on this paper, I have some questions written down on what would you do? So these are what would you do questions that I am going to ask myself. What would I do? Get it? You can also play it with me, think about it. You know the following, um, which is play it with me and watch me. And that's pretty much it. But let's get, let's get started for this video. So the first one, what would you do if you found out you could stop time? Interesting question, very interesting. Do we have a clock here for dramatic effects? No, we don't. Okay, we are about to... Okay, so if I could potentially stop time just like that, which is not mentioned, but I'm just, I'm just thinking. So there was this one case where I kicked a mug accidentally and it fell down and it broke, of course, like a glass mug. Obviously, okay, what am I talking about? Okay, it fell down and it broke. And there was like a one hour gap between it falling down and it on the table or on the bed, actually. So I would would be like, I would stop time like that. And then I would go and I would be like, okay, you ain't falling nowhere, little mug. And then I would take it and I would put it in its place. So that would, that would be what I would do. But if I had other things that I could do with it, if I could, like, save the world or be a hero, like, da -da -da, da -da -da -da. obviously, I would help in doing that. But I don't think there's anything that is, can be heroic in this. Maybe, like, like, when a tower or a building is falling down, I could take the people outside. I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. If something like that happened, I would do. Maybe I, if I was getting accidentally electrocuted and I would just stop time and it would be like I beg like in the middle of electrocuted I don't know okay I don't, yeah that's one thing that I would do okay so the next question what would you do with an extra hour every day if everyone and everyone still had normal time okay I wrote down these questions so I know what this means so it probably pretty much said that you have 24 hours I'm sorry, I have 25 hours and you all still have 24 hours, so I have an extra hour and I can do anything I want with it. <coughs> sorry about that. So if I had literally an extra hour, I feel like I would waste it by doing, like I would be like I'm going to do something productive in it, but I would actually waste it with watching my phone or reading some kind of boring things. Like, I don't know, or drawing on my wall. I don't know. If you guys didn't notice yet, I have so many drawings on my literal wall that it's, like, crazy. So, I don't, I, I, yeah, I would base that one hour every, each and every day. Maybe study, like, one or two days if my mom knew about it. My parents and my family would be, like, studying that one hour. But, you know, they don't have the hour I do. So, I decide what I do with it. And I would probably waste it. That's my answer. <laughs> Next question, what would you do if you found out the world was ending? Literally nothing. I would hate to have that information. I would rather be like, why would you tell me that? Tell somebody else, tell anyone else about how the world is literally going to end. Because I am, I, when I was small, I had this anxiety that what, what if the a meteor fell and the world just ended? Like, like that and I was so scared that I told my mom about it and she literally was like okay that's not that that does not happen and I was like how do you know are you an expert are you a scientist I don't know okay we might we might just we might just get around we might just die right now and she was like really really so if I found out the world was ending I would have anxiety like crazy I would be like what 
why would he tell me that? I don't need that information. Tell literally anybody else. And I would be frustrated with myself and with the person who tells me that. Next question. What would you do if you were all of a sudden invisible? Now, can I control my invisibility? That's my first question. But let's not ask questions here because we have no one to answer them. Great. So, if you were all of a sudden invisible, I, if I was all of a sudden invisible, I'm going to have to think about that. Okay, I would do a lot of other things, including pranking people, because that would be the funniest thing ever, pranking people. So that's number one. And uh, then... I, I can't... I don't know what's wrong with me, but I can only think of pranking people with being invisible. Maybe sneak into the library like Harry did, even though that's a very stupid thing to do if you're invisible. Yeah, that's all I would do. I would only prank. I would literally do nothing else if I was invisible. Why Why do I want to be invisible? Is that the, just the reason that... Okay. Next question. What would you do if you were at home alone at night and heard someone in your house? Okay, first of all, my mom and whatever parent family would never let me be alone at night in a house or anywhere because that's the scariest thing that can happen with anyone and i would not let that happen i would i would literally fight with them to not let me stay at home but if in some weird and hypothetical case i was at home alone and heard someone i would run for my life i would run like a bullet in a action movie going for someone's head when you need someone to die did you get that? Okay, I'm I'm going to elaborate what I said right there. Okay, I was saying that I would run at a bullet in an action movie going for someone's head if someone needed to die. Like, right that moment, like, someone needed to die and I'm, a, I'm the bullet that is hitting that person in their head. Okay, that went from light to very dark. Next question. Um, this is the last question, which is, what would you do if you found out someone from the past was planning to kill you? Is planning to kill you, will be. So I'm going to read the question. What would you do if you found out someone from the past is trying to kill you? Okay, this is probably the most hypothetical and insane question you can have for me. What would I do? I would panic. That, w that would be the first thing I would do. I would literally make a movie. That, that's the answer first. I would panic like, oh my god, someone's trying to kill me. They can be in my wolf right now. Oh my god, where are you? Come out. And the next thing I would do is make a movie out of it. Like making a movie of how I survive. Because I know I'm going to survive. I'm that movie kind of No, okay, okay, okay. I would think, probably think a little smartly about it. And think about what I can do. What are my options? Do I tell someone? Blah, blah, blah. And then I, I'm, I'm, then I feel like I'm at the end of this all. I'm just going to figure out if it's a prank. Someone telling me that I'm, someone's trying to kill me. This is all a prank. But whatever. Um, I would panic and then I would make a movie. Not really a movie, but I would make a story out of what, what had happened after the whole thing has played out. Or maybe I would be dead. But we don't care about that. So, yeah. So that was the end of the video. I literally told you guys all about these questions. And you can uh, tell me what your things were or just think about it if the comments are disabled i don't know what to do about that but think about it think play with me yeah and that was all for today's video hope you like it if it is smash that like button and the subscribe button and share this video with all of your friends so that they can also see what the madness i did today and stay tuned for the next video bye